You want to know what kind of soil I use to start my seedlings? Stick around and I'm going to show you how to do that. Today we're going to be in the barn. There she is. Hey! Hey YouTube family, today we're in the barn. We've got some more seedlings to start. The greenhouse has got some room in it, so I've got some places to put some new starts for seedlings. We're going to build some soil today. I'm almost out. I'm going to show you the way that I start soil, and you're welcome to follow this recipe if you like. It's not a it's not a unique recipe, but it's the one that I use here on my farm, and my seedlings have been doing really good with it this year. And uh, stick around, and let's build some soil together. Yeah, you've been in the creek, I see. You've been in the creek, huh? You have. You've been in the creek. Um, these are the things that you're gonna need. You're gonna need some sort of container to mix your soil in. You're gonna need a measuring scoop, um, some sort of cocoa core uh, product. You're gonna need some kind of soil. This is some that I found early in the season really cheap, and so I bought up a bunch of bags of it. Uh, I put worm castings in mine, perlite and ver ver vermiculite. That's what we're gonna need. Let, let me show you how to do it. I'm not sponsored by any of these companies that put this stuff out. It's just things that I found that were reasonably priced and I thought would work for us on the farm. So we'll measure with this in a minute for the vermiculite and the perlite. You just take that uh, cocoa core. We're going to put a good amount in the bottom of this bucket about halfway up. See that? Make sure we don't lose any of it. It's not cheap, but it's not expensive either. And for quality starts, it makes a good, a good airy base that the roots can travel down in and get started with. So about 50-50 mix on this. Whatever bag of potting soil you've got, you add about 50% of that cocoa core and about 50% of a general potting mix. It doesn't have to be this one. This one. If I hadn't caught it on special, I wouldn't have used this one, but this one was on special. I got a good deal on it, so I bought it up. It, this is organic. It doesn't have any ingredients in there that uh, you wouldn't want to use, eat, etc. So that's our cocoa core and our potting mix. I'm just gonna give it a little stir. We're going to start a lot of seeds, y'all. Got a lot more seeds to start. Do it like so. The uh, perlite is really good for providing aeration in these soils so they don't get dense. And I'm just going <coughs> to... <coughs> I think I read on the bag, don't breathe the dust. And here I am breathing it. But... That's our perlite. It's going to put two good measures of that perlite. In. Vermiculite is another aeration agent that we can put into our seed starting mix. This <coughs> vermiculite will actually break down over time and provide some mineralization. Vermiculite is not the ideal mineralization amendment that you'll add to your soil, but it's a good mineralization amendment that we can add. Uh, green sand is another one that I'm looking into adding to our mixes, especially our beds for remineralization. Uh, now we're down to uh, the worm compost. I add this just so that the young seedlings have a little bit of, of fertilized to get started. Once they get down, send their roots down, they've got some nutrients to grab onto. I've read in a few places that uh, a lot of the professional growers start their expensive seedlings in pure worm castings. And y'all, it don't take much of this. A little goes a long way. And you know, I put two big cans of uh, vermiculite and perlite. I'm gonna put two handfuls of this uh, worm casting in the uh, in the mix. And you can see we've made a full tub. That full tub of uh, seed starting mix, as I mix it up, this full tub of seed starting mix will run about 40 or 50 trays of material um, this is our, our third set of mix that we've, 
we've done. And uh, it does a good amount of seedlings. What I'm doing now is just mixing this up so that everything gets blended together. If you've ever made a scrambled egg, all we're doing is scrambling the eggs. Y'all just mix it up. Garden is not hard. And with a little bit of research, like watching YouTube, you can learn so much about gardening that you never knew. And if you have a good dog that'll lick you in the face, you'll have so much joy in the world that you won't know what to do. Hey, you wanna see something? Watch this. Come here. Come on, doggies. Get in here. Yeah. Get in here. Oh, let's get in. Oh, 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 oh. When's the last time you played like a puppy with your doggies, huh? When's the last time you played like a little puppy? Oh, come on and get me. Come on. Oh, oh, oh let's get in. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the ideal mineralization um, of it's not the <coughs> it's not the ideal minerals <laughs> what, what was I saying no idea.